When collaborating together in a Google Chat space, users often share links that lead to other third-party tools like a support ticketing system. With link previewing, you can enable your chat app to preview a link by attaching a card to the user's message. When someone adds a link to their message, a chip appears which lets them know that a chat app might preview the link. After sending the message, the link is sent to the chat app, which then generates and attaches the card to the user's message. Alongside the link, the card contains additional information about the link, including interactive elements like buttons. Your chat app can update the attached card in response to user interactions like button clicks. The preview can be removed at any time by clicking Remove Preview. You can enable the link previewing in the configuration of the Google Chat API in the Google Cloud Console. Register specific links like example.com or example.com slash cases slash as URL patterns so your chat app can preview them. When a user's message contains a link that matches a link preview URL pattern, the link gets sent to your chat app as the matched URL attribute on the message object. By checking for the presence of the matched URL attribute on the message object, your chat app can add information to the message with the previewed link. On screen, you see an app script example of how the chat app could reply with an attached card to the previewed link. Your chat app could also reply with a simple text message. Now let's say the user clicks the button assigned to me in the link preview card. How can your chat app update the card to reflect the user's action? As we previously saw, our card already contains information on what to do when a user clicks a specific button, like assigned to me, as we can see on screen. Note the property on click and the property function that has the value of assign. By returning an action response of type update user message cards and taking into consideration the action method name, the chat app can update the card attached to the previewed link. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming Google Workspace development or AppSheet videos.